Oh yeah. What your childhood toy says about you. Legos. You have PTSD from stepping on Legos, and there's a 50% chance you still play with them. Play-Doh. Come on, we all know you tried eating it before. Barbie. You're probably a girl. I mean, maybe not, but probably. G.I. Joe. You're probably a guy. I mean, maybe not, but probably. Monster High. You grew up to be a goth girl. Hot Wheels. Even now, they're the only cars you can afford. Puzzles. What some people find stressful, you found relaxing. Until you lost a piece, that is. Rubik's Cube. You're a pro who's learned how to solve quickly, or you just rearrange the stickers to look like you solved it. Fidget Spinner. You haven't heard of them in years, but at the time, it was the most important thing to you. Littlest Pet Shop. They were the only pets your mom let you have. Crayons. You were so creative with them, you ended up drawing on stuff besides paper. Building Blocks. Building a huge tower was the biggest achievement you've earned in your entire life. Dress Up Clothes. You're a cosplayer now, and you were a cosplayer then, you just didn't know it. Cardboard Box. You're either a poor kid or a cat. Squinkies. There's no way you didn't end up losing one. Zuzu Pets. You were rougher with them than you should have been. Furby. How you weren't scared of them as a child, I still don't understand. Beanie Babies. You were either a kid who found them cute, or an adult who was collecting them to resell later. Beanie Boos. Okay, you were just a kid who found them cute. Beyblade. You probably hurt yourself or someone else with them before, and you definitely used a frying pan instead of an official stadium at some point. Light Bright. Some of your best memories are playing Light Bright in the dark. Action Figures. You've had so many epic battles, betrayal, romance, and drama with your figures as a kid. Who knows, maybe even now as an adult. Fisher Price Little People. Oh, you were one of those kids? Weird. Pokemon Cards. You've lost a lot of money to them. Or at least your parents did. Calico Critters. You grew up to be a cottagecore furry. Robo Puppy. There's a chance you liked them more than your real dog. Tickle Me Elmo. Somehow, the older you got, the scarier he seemed. Razor Scooter. You thought you were one of the coolest kids ever. And honestly, you were. Kids Tablet. Your mom wouldn't let you get an iPad. Ever After High. You were an alternate version of the Monster High fans. My Little Pony. You knew exactly what your cutie mark would be if you had one. Polly Pocket. You had more outfits than you could count, and you're still proud of it. Tamagotchi Pet. You might have had parents fighting or got bullied, but at least your Tamagotchi Pet was there for you. Pillow Pets. You either played with it more than you slept with it, or vice versa. Bakugan. You just collected them and never played the game. Zoobles. You still don't know exactly what they were. La La Loopsie. You never watched Coraline, because then you wouldn't have wanted one. Brats. You were a brat then, and you're a brat now. American Girl Doll. You were a rich kid. Like, seriously, those dolls were really expensive. Shopkins. There were some that you cherished, and others you wouldn't even notice if you lost them. Silly Bands. You and all your classmates would compare and trade them at school. Webkins. You had a phase of your childhood where Webkins was all that mattered, online or offline. Moxie Girls. You weren't as mean as the girls who had Bratz dolls, but you were still mean. Hatchimals. Half of the fun was hatching them and seeing what you got. LOL Surprise. Your biggest struggle growing up was opening the ball they came in. Board Games. You lost all the pieces and played by your own rules. Video Games. You're still a gamer, but you miss when you could just game all day with no responsibilities. Squishmallows. You know they're expensive, but you don't care, because squishing them is like therapy for you. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, everything was a joke. It's just a meme, so don't take it seriously. Comment down below what your childhood toy was, and if it wasn't in this video, then we'll make a part two. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is MV Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.